The story of an international project starts in Newcastle. Newcastle is like many other cities. People from around the world come to the city to play, to shop, to work and to study. We rely on literacy to deal with the complexities of modern life. Once we have learned to read in childhood, even if it's in another writing system, we have the transferable skills to learn to read in a new language such as English. As educated adults, our literacy skills mean that we can figure out unfamiliar ingredients to buy for a recipe. We can read menus at restaurants that offer foreign cuisine. We can use written text and maps for an overview of the city's attractions. And we can negotiate the city's public transportation system to get around. Literacy is essential to the basics of life, from reading medicine labels and filling in forms, to reading labels to see what something contains. Newcastle is like many other cities. People who are forcibly displaced find a safe haven here. In some countries, conflict and poverty restrict access to formal schooling. When adults flee these countries, they may not be able to read or write at all. Adults with no literacy face challenges similar to young children learning to read. Children spend a lot of time in school, and some bilingual children have extracurricular classes in another language to make sure they're also biliterate. Most older foreign learners are educated, and they can follow written instructions and understand their teacher's explanations. Teacher training assumes that older second language learners are educated and literate. She or he. Good, yeah, yeah, so third person, she, he. Yeah. Good, yeah. Yes. Is there any condition that we use neither a or the? Yes, yes, there are cases where we don't use articles actually. Large-scale studies in the US and the Netherlands in the 2000s showed that adults who immigrate without any literacy learn to read a lot more slowly in a new language than adults with at least some literacy do. Martha Young Shorten at Newcastle University organised a series of meetings with a team of academics and teacher trainers from across the EU. Paula Bosch at the University of Amsterdam urged the team to focus on teacher training and development. Daarom ben ik zo blij dat EU Speak modules ontwikkeld heeft voor de leraar in SP, voor de vrijwilliger die de studenten helpt te alfabetiseren. Many of those who work with these adult learners are unpaid volunteers without a background in language teaching. They need training too. And um, one friend talked to me about about the project Nest. They are doing they are teaching some refugees from different countries and they are trying to teach them on especially English but also different things so that it's easier for them to to integrate in the country and in the city. And I think it's wonderful. You know, I really like being with them. Sometimes I feel like I learn even more from them than, than what I teach them. From 2015 to 2018, the AU Speak Project partners designed and delivered online teacher training and development modules. These six modules were offered for free in English, Finnish, German, Spanish and Turkish to anyone around the world working with these adult migrants. Oana Kordanianu is a teacher in Lieska who participated in the Finnish version of several modules. I had this unique opportunity to communicate and share teaching experiences with professionals in language teaching from all over the world. 
My team and I have worked incredibly hard over the last three years to fill the gap in training and development for those who work with adult migrants. And I'm happy to say that we've reached nearly a thousand participants on six continents. The team and its advisory board members are taking forward new initiatives. Martha recently helped launch a new chair in Madrid in the language of migrants and refugees. Roland Ebb will be working on a Council of Europe project with others across the EU. Joy Payton has collaborated with Martha and Belma Hasnadar in presentations at the UN on language and the strategic development goals. The EU Speak Project's goal is to give volunteers like Janira and teachers like Oana the chance to gain specialist knowledge and skills to support the learners they work with. Adults learning to read for the first time ever, but in a new language, want to help their children with their homework. They want to read the newspaper. They want to be part of the economic and civil life of their community. Because I need to improve my English for my family, for myself, for help my children at school, GB, hospital, for any appointment, for any problem with my dad, my mom, my dad, my mom here in Sahelke. Well-trained teachers and tutors can help them achieve these goals. Let the mirror ball put stars in all their eyes Like it shines hot on your bare shoulders And let them see what true love's meant to be With every step Versus the world.